Hello everyone, welcome to TKA. It's the first day of the workshop. The workshop today was more focusing on establishing our work together by uh, introducing the program. Uh, in addition to uh, discussing uh, and, uh, and, and uh, intr introducing uh, some uh, definitions related to digital uh, mediums, uh, performing arts, and how to uh, mobilize a digital uh, space in order to uh, support the, 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 the performing arts and support creating new forms of uh, performing arts. We started our work by uh, learning about the process of making video, uh, which is three stages, the pre-production, uh, which is the preparation uh, phase of creating a video, the production, which is the, pro the, 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 the phase of collecting and producing the raw material of, my, of, of our video, and then the post-production, which is the phase of collecting the whole material I already created and brought in order to finalize my uh, video or my product to be ready to be published. Uh, also, we discussed uh, the value that could be added by the digital medium on the performing arts. So the, the, that time we were discussing more the opportunities that could a digital medium offer to performing arts in order to uh, produce new forms, to find new solutions, and also to reach new uh, audience. Then we discussed how to uh, build a script starting from the idea and uh, going to uh, areas that related to the elements we need to know uh, in order to create a structured and comprehensive uh, script, like uh, who are the characters, uh, where they are acting, uh, what they are doing, why, how, and for whom, in addition to when. So, uh, once I answer these questions, I'm ready to write my script according to my idea. Uh, that gave, uh, that gave the, uh, the, the participants the opportunity to start working as groups in creating their scripts for their ideas and for their videos, which will be produced or like will be, film, will be filmed tomorrow during the second day of the workshop. Thank you so much. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tikeya. Today is the second day of the workshop. Today was focusing more on shooting, filming, photography, and the techniques that related to photography. We discussed several points that related to the common mistakes that happened by the beginners, such as the mistakes that related to uh, exposure, related to composition. So we discussed different uh, techniques and different tips in how to make your cadre or your frame more stable and to be prepared regarding leading the shooting on the ground. So we discussed both sides when you use a professional camera and when you use your mobile phone. For instance, when you use your mobile phone, it's very important to be on the flight mode to clean your mobile phones, cameras, lens, and to clean your storage and to have an extra storage. Also to decide which position is the right position for your video. If you're producing a video for TikTok, for a story, you have to use the vertical position. If your video will be broadcasted or published on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or it will be screened on an LED screen or a video projector. It means you need to shoot your video on the horizontal position. I wish this video was useful for you and I hope to meet you again 
in the next video. Bye bye. Hello everyone, welcome to TK. Today we will work on some brief about the third day and the fourth day of the workshop. The third day revolved around a morning visit to the archaeological sites in Alexandria. It gave an opportunity to the participants to learn more about the city, about its history, and about the most popular archaeological sites there. Afternoon, we worked together on some reflections. We discussed the previous phase of the workshop, the feelings of the participants, and what we learned during the two days, and our experience regarding producing a short video for social media. The fourth day revolved around some technicalities about developing audience and planning for social media programs. So, the morning was about how to plan for your social media program. It's about having a general idea, and this idea could be divided into small ideas, so we can divide the whole program into small episodes. We have to think from the beginning about our audience, about the segments of our audience, and the persona of our audience. When we say segments, we can say that it's the age, the demographics, job, economic situation, and etc. Once we identified the segmentation or the segment of our, part, of our audience, it's very important also within the segment to identify their persona, which is their interest, their attitude, their behavior, and their preferences. Then, it's important also to identify the right channel that we can reach our audience on. Is it Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, or whatever social media and digital media platforms? And how they prefer to watch their video? Is it a short video? or a long video? Is it a story or a regular video? What style could be the best style for presenting your story? What structure could be the best? Then we talked about how to develop your plan, which is including the topic, the episodes, the audience, the equipment we need, and the budget we have to take into consideration in order to implement our work. Then the participants took the opportunity to think about general ideas of their projects and to develop these ideas into scripts. Then, and at the end of the day, we had an opportunity to learn more about essentials and basics of photography, how to take not only the right frame or the right footage, but also the most beautiful footage and the footage that can tell our story. That could be by selecting the right colors, by selecting the right frame, the right characters, the right position, the right angle, and the right composition. Then we had an opportunity also to be introduced to some resources to get footage from the internet without facing the problem of copyrights. That could be by searching on some search engines like Unsplash, Pixels, and also to get some audio from YouTube audio library. That was everything we discussed during the third day and the fourth day of Tekeya. 
So, keep watching our videos, learn, think, ask, search on internet about more resources, and at the end of the workshop, you will receive the whole materials and recording of some of the main and important sessions that we, produ uh, we produced and we provided to our participants. Bye bye. Hello everyone, welcome to TKA. Uh, today we will recap the fifth and the sixth day of the workshop. Yesterday, uh, which is the fifth day, we discussed some areas that related to designs and sources for bringing footage to you and to use in your video. Uh, also, uh, we discussed uh, areas that related to the online platforms, applications and programs that you can use to create some designs that could be used in your video. Then, the participants started working on finalizing their ideas, shooting their videos and started the editing phase of their videos. The last day, which is the sixth day of the workshop, the participants continued working on their projects. They worked together on video editing and that happened after giving an introduction about video editing, about the process of video editing, starting with organizing media by adding everything into a root folder. Also, by describing how to work on editing your video, we have five different phases. The first phase is to create a new project. The second phase is to import the material, the footage you already collected. Then the third phase, which is the phase of editing the video and adding everything on timeline and adding the retouching, video effects, audio effects and etc. Then we have the fourth phase which is the phase of previewing what we produced on our timeline to go to the last phase, which is the, the phase of exporting our final product, which is our video. The participants worked together in finalizing their videos and we had a screening, then a discussion about the videos and reflection on what happened in the workshop, what we learned, and a quick evaluation. I would like at the end to encourage you to create your own group, to prepare your idea, produce your video, and share it with us. And also, I would like to invite you to reflect on the process and on what you learn together using Zoom or Skype or any other alternative application for conference calling. And finally, before ending this video, I would like to invite you to follow us and to read the material you will receive and also to watch the videos of the sessions and to apply what you learned during the process. Thank you so much. I wish you the best of luck and bye-bye.